that dragon is still flying around there somewhere. Bleak Falls Barrow. When I was a boy, that place always used to give me nightmares. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls? Against the dragon? Faringar, I think I've found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow. Find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Succeed at this, and you'll be rewarded. White Run will be in your death. You need it quickly, before it's too late. See? The terminology is clearly First Era or even earlier. I'm convinced this is a copy of a much older text. Perhaps dating to just after the Dragon War. If so, I could use this to cross-reference the names with other later texts. Good. I'm glad you're making progress. My employers are anxious to have some tangible answers. Oh, have no fear. The Jarl himself has finally taken an interest. So I'm now able to devote most of my time to this research. Time is running, Farngar, don't forget. This isn't some theoretical question. Dragons have come back. Yes, yes, don't worry. Although the chance to see a living dragon up close would be tremendously valuable. Now, have let me show you something else I found. Very intriguing. I think your employers may be interested as well. Hmm? Ah, yes, the Jarl's protege. Back from Bleak Falls Barrow. You didn't die, it seems. Ah, the Dragon Stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Seems you are a cut above the usual brute the Jarl sends my way. That is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind, sadly undervalued in Skyrim. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. So your information was correct after all. And we have our friend here to thank for recovering it for us. You went into Bleak Wait Falls Barrow and got that? Nice work. Just send me a copy. Farangar! Farangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? W what was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. Let's go. So, Girilef tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. Oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irleth, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come along. I would very much like to see this dragon. No. I can't afford to risk both of you. 
I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irileth. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. Storm cloaks, Imperials, dragons. Ain't no matter to me what I kill. Let them come. from the dung of mortality. Now, walk among the stars! Be glad you're here in the city and not out in Riverwood. Those poor sods don't even have a wall. Here's the situation. A dragon is attacking the Western Watchtower. A what? dragon? Now we're in for it. You heard right. I said a dragon. I don't much care where it came from or who sent it. What I do know is that it's made the mistake of attacking Whiterun. But House Carl, how could we fight a dragon? That's a fair question. None of us have ever seen a dragon before or expected to face one in battle. But we are honor-bound to fight it, even if we fail. This dragon is threatening our homes, our families. Could you call yourselves Nords if you ran from this monster? Are you going to let me face this thing alone? No, They're no, so I'll dead. Start. But it's more than our honor at stake here. Think of it. The first dragon seen in Skyrim since the last age. The glory of killing it is ours, if you're with me. Now, what do you say? Shall we go kill us a dragon? Yeah! Damn yeah. right! Let's move out. No signs of any dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's been. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere, spread out and look for survivors. We need to know what we're feeling. and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Kidrath, save us. Here he comes again. Here he comes. Find cover and make every arrow count. Don't 
I can't believe it. You're Dragonborn. In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. That would prove it. According to the old legends, only the Dragonborn can shout without training. The way the dragons do. Dragonborn? What are you talking about? That's right. My grandfather used to tell stories about the dragonborn. Those born with the dragon blood in them. Like old Tiber Septim himself. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. They are just coming back now for the first time in forever. But the old tales tell of the dragonborn who can kill dragons and steal their power. You must be one. What do you say, Irleth? You're being awfully quiet. Come on, Irleth. Tell us. Do you believe in this Dragonborn business? <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon, and that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them, but I don't need some mythical Dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Housecarl. You ain't a norm. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. If you really are Dragonborn, like out of the old tales, you ought to be able to shout. Can you? Have you tried? Fuss! That was shouting. She what you just did. Must be. 
You really are Dragonborn, then. I'm glad you're on our side. I'm taking command here for the moment. You head back to Whiterun and let the Jarl know what happened. Do you hunt? The plains outside Whiterun are ripe with game. We're causing no trouble. All we ask is to look for her. I don't care what you're doing. After what happened, you're lucky I don't toss you in jail. Now get lost. We will be back. This is not over. You there. We're looking for someone in White Run. We'll pay good money for information. A woman. A foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She's likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in White Rock. So we will be in Rorik's if we learn anything. It's none of your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, feel free to walk away. We're looking for a fugitive who comes from Hammerfell. A Redguard woman. She may be somewhere in this city. He cannot hide from us forever. You're finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. 
We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? I knew I could count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. Dragonborn. What do you know about the Dragonborn? So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Did you say you had the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rungar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as she may be, I don't see any signs of her being this, what, dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Rungar, don't be so hard on Avenucci. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with her? That's the Greybeard's business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeard's hurt it. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeard's. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know. To climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. <sighs> no matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. You lost? They live in seclusion on the slopes of the Throat of the World, the great mountain of Skyrim. They are masters of the Way of the Voice. If you really are Dragonborn, they're the ones who can teach you how to use your power. Stay out of trouble, Imperial. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the Hold. A hero. The title of Thane is an honor. A gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. As my Thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. Lead the way.
Let me know if you want anything. <laughs> Think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Sadia, wake up, dear. Yes, Mum. You want a drink? Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? both. Are you sure? Oh no. They found me? I need your help. Please, come with me. I need to speak to you privately. Quickly, come with me. Working with them? You think you can take me? You so much as touch me and you're going to lose fingers. I mean it. I'll, I'll cut you in half. So the Alakir know where I am? What do they offer you? Gold? How many more of them are coming? Tell me. Then I need your help. And there isn't anyone else I can trust here in the city. I am not the person that the people of Whiterun think I am. My real name is Eamon. I am a noble of House Suda in Hammerfell. The men who are looking for me, the Alakir, they are assassins in the employ of the Almarie Dominion. They wish to exchange my blood for gold. I need you to root them out and drive them away before they find me and drag me back to Hammerfell for an execution. They're mercenaries, only in it for the money. They're led by a man named Kamatu. Get rid of him, and the rest will scatter. I don't dare show my face, lest they recognize me, so you'll have to find out where they are. I heard one of them was just arrested trying to sneak into the city. If he's locked up in the jail, perhaps you can get it out of him. Please, I know I'm asking you to do something difficult, maybe even dangerous. I just don't know who else I can trust. Find me the moment the Alakir are taken care of. If it's work you need, how about chopping up some wood for the fires? You see those warriors from Hammerfell? They've got curved swords. Curved swords! Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. I assume you saw the Gildergreen? Big tree, all burnt up, in the middle of the Wind District? It's part of the Temple of Kinareth. People want Tanika to do something about it, but I don't know what they expect. 
Need anything else? Just let me know. Time to get cozy. <laughs> Make it quick. <clears throat> How are we doing over here? Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both? Why, well, yeah. The finest cuts, fresh from the wilds. Finest cuts, fresh from the wilds. One thing everyone can agree on. This war is bad for business. Chops and steaks fit for a Jarl. Come and see my selection of the finest quality meats. Your children, your very lives. And what does the Empire Forgive me if I'm Welcome intruding. Welcome to our home. Mother, what's the meaning of this? Who have you brought into our home? Avrostein, put that down. She's here to help us find Thorold. How do we know she's not spying for the Battleborn? This was foolish. We can't trust anyone. Who knows what they'll do if they find me here? I can't take any more of this. No weapons, please. Let's just talk. All right, Mother. So, you're here to help? My brother Thorald, he was fighting for the Stormcloaks and went missing. Everyone assumes he's dead. But he's not, I just know it. The Imperials captured him, and they're holding him someplace. The Battleborns know where. I'd go and search their house for proof, but they want me to. I'd be captured, and then we'll never know what happened to him. So I need someone to find that proof for me. Best if you didn't mention to anyone that you saw me here. If only you could help bring my son back to me. You take care of yourself now. Still here. As you wish, my Thane.
Back already? As you will, my Thane. I will protect you with my life. for something? something. Clean mug around here somewhere. Do you have news of our quarry? You have? Where? Father, Tell me now. How old were you when you left me? I know where this is going, son. Money, if that is what I've you wish. Now tell me where she is. is a dangerous place. You're much safer here we cannot go after her. Not without drawing attention. You must bring her to us. You should think about Lead her to the White Run stables, outside of the city. Yes, that's your we will wait for you there. Farewell. Stay on for one more season. <laughs> My father, Ralki, manages the inn. He used to be a soldier, but he left that life behind. You look like you've seen your share of adventure. I envy you that. In fact, maybe you can help me with something. I want to be an adventurer like you. My father says I can't. He says he needs me to stay here and work the farm. And even if he did let me be an adventurer, we couldn't afford to buy armor. His name is Mralki, and he's the innkeeper here. I hope you can change his mind. Thank you. I can't stand the thought of being trapped in this village for the rest of my days. If you need a meal or room, I've got both. I only take real coin here. No handouts and no bartering. My son? Eric? What about him? Did something happen? Is he all right? But the world is a dangerous place. Eric has no idea what he's getting himself into. What's more, he's got no armor. I'll have to save up the money for it.
You would give your own coin to help my son? I'm moved by your compassion. Your kind deed will not go unrewarded, my friend. Tell Eric I've changed my mind and will visit Wyfren soon to fit him for armor. Good evening. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Did you have any luck talking to my father? I can't thank you enough, friend. I hope you'll come back to Rorikstead soon and pay me a visit. Maybe we can swap stories about our adventures over a mug of ale at the inn. If you see any signs of Talos worship, it's your obligation to report them to me. Move along.
At least it won't be so hot today. <clears throat> A clean mug around here somewhere. Any news of the Alakir? What? How? I thought they weren't allowed within the city. But where will I go? I can't keep running forever. After all this, I have to pick up and leave again? If you really think this is the only way, I trust you. Let's not waste any time. See you around. Feels good today. What is it? Bits and bubbles, chops and steaks fit for your own. Rain ass, you warm from the oven. Oh, did you need something? Meet at last, my dear lady. What is this? What have you done? Oh, come now. You didn't really expect to manipulate people forever, did you? Your luck had to run out sometime. Now we'll take our friend here back to Hammerfell, where she will pay the price for her treason. Not on the way back. Once she gets there, it's not up to me to decide what's done with her. And as for you, I owe you a portion of the reward, don't I? Well, here you go. Spend it wisely, and if I may, don't allow yourself to be fooled by a pretty face. You're better than that. All right, then. Got the fleetest steeds in all of Skyrim. Gal like you needs a war horse, I reckon. None of them's older than nine, and the youngest is six. Now the horse I got for sale is seven years old, but in fine health. She's got a lot of spirit, that one. We've taken to calling her Queen Aufsiger, or just Ali for short. I expect you can name her anything you like, once she's yours. Suppose so. Got one all saddled, if you've got the coin. You've got a deal. It's the one with the saddle. Ride strong. Winds guide us.
staying safe, I hope? Be careful. I didn't mean if nothing anything I can get Just you. leave me Just alone. Let me know. What do you want? Nah, I don't think so. If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrel on the east away. side of town. It's haunted. The Greybeards are a solitary lot. I don't think they've ever ventured outside their monastery. We get the occasional pilgrim passing through here on their way to the summit, but almost all of them have returned disappointed. There ain't much more to tell. They're haunted, and you should stay away. Look, I've seen one of the spirits with my very own eyes. When it glared at me, I swear it burned right through my soul. Fortunately, <laughs> they seem to be sticking to the barrow. I think they're guarding it. Certainly isn't helping my business any. Who'd want to rent a room anywhere near a haunted barrow? If you think there's anything you can do, be my guest. About a year or two ago, some fella named Windelius came through. Said he was some kind of a treasure hunter. I warned him not to go in there, just like I warned you. The very next night we heard screams from the barrel, and that was it. We never saw him again. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. You couldn't possibly be the Dragonborn of legend, could you? Let me know if there's anything else you need. What do you want? All right, then. If there are 500 steps to each marker, then maybe... Oh, this is pointless. Yes? I told you to keep away from there. I'm sorry. I was curious. I didn't believe the stories. There is much in this town that does not pass the smell test. I promise Be wary. Safe. And I'm not going to break my word. What is it? Dragons? <coughs> On your way up the 7,000 steps again, Clement? Not today. I'm just not ready to make the climb to High Hrothgar. The path isn't safe. Aren't the Greybeards expecting some supplies? Honestly, I'm not certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. Perhaps one day. Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? About to make a delivery up there myself. Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. 
Be careful up there. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. I like to spend time up here. Walk the steps. Meditate on the emblems. Doesn't hurt when I bag some game along the way. They're not the sort to take visitors. But I never go that high up the path anyway. Some folk who make the trip leave them food or other essentials, but not to make conversation. I did. Strange days when the monks will do that. I wonder what it means. All right, then.
What do you want, Imperial? Just a pilgrim. I'd prefer to leave it at that, if you don't mind. Walking the steps, meditating on the emblems. I make this trip every few years. Stay out of trouble, Imperial. die! So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. First, let us see if you truly are dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Do not be afraid. Your shout will not harm us. Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. I am Master Angir. 
I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? We are the Greybeards, followers of the Way of the Voice. You stand in High Hrothgar, on the slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky, and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. We are here to guide you in that pursuit, just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the Dragonblood that came before you. You are not the first. There have been many of the Dragonblood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only Dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. You have shown that you are Dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, Force to focus your thumb more sharply. Grow. You learn a new word like a master. You truly do have the gift. But learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of rope. your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Fus, Well done. Again. Fus, You learn quickly. Once more. Fus, Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. I've got your back. How can I serve you, my Thane? As you wish, my Thane. You 
will now see how you learn a completely new shout. Master Bori will teach you wood, which means whirlwind. Whirlwind. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thum. Approach Master Bori and he will gift you his knowledge of wood. Now we will see how quickly you can master a new shot. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Master Bori. Rex! Wolf! At us! Now it's your turn. Stand the next to me. Looks like Master a... Bori will hmm. open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Your quick mastery of a new thum is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself? No, indeed not. But beware that your skill does not outstrip your wisdom. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ustengrav. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. Wind, guide you. I've been waiting for you. As you will, my Thane. I will protect you with my life. He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords, a master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods not the glory of men. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition, and the way of the voice was born. The voice was a gift of the goddess Kinnereth at the dawn of time. She gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Although this gift has often been misused, the only true use of the voice is for the worship and glory of the gods. True mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward actions. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. The Dragonborn is an exception to all the rules. The Dragon Blood itself is a gift of the gods. If we accept one gift, how can we deny the other? As Dragonborn, you have received the ability to shout 
directly from Akatosh. We therefore seek to guide you on the proper use of your gift, which transcends the restrictions which bind other mortals. We study the way of the voice, according to the teachings of our founder, Jürgen Winkola. Very few are permitted to study with us here at High Hrothgar. But in your case, Dragonborn, it is a privilege to guide you towards mastery of your voice. Five. Our leader, Parthenax, lives alone on the peak of the throat of the world. When your voice can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to him. As I said, you will know you are ready when your voice can open the path to him. Dragons have always been able to shout. Language is intrinsic to their very being. There is no difference in the dragon tongue between debating and fighting. Shouting comes as naturally to a dragon as breathing or speaking. In mythic times, when mortal kind was in great need, the goddess Kinnereth granted us the ability to speak as dragons do. For most people, long years of training are required to learn even the simplest shout. But for you, the dragon speech is in your blood and you learn it almost without effort. No doubt, the appearance of a dragonborn at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. There is indeed much that we know that you do not. That does not mean that you are ready to understand it. Do not let your easy mastery of the voice tempt you into the arrogance of power. That has been the downfall of many Dragonborn before you. <clears throat> Breath and focus. <laughs> 